What's up everybody, it's the Classic Tycoon here, and we're back for another Let's Play video on Crazy Castle. In the last one, we built all of these different rides here, all the way down the line, and that's attracting guests at a pretty good rate. We're at 616 right now for our guest count, 615, 14, 13, going down a little bit, but we got to get that count up to, what, 1,500 guests by the end of year four. So, we're going to do a little bit of building today. We're going to build a roller coaster and then we're also going to do some marketing campaigns. We don't got anything running right now, but we'll get that going uh, near the end of the episode. So, kind of just looking through, thinking through what I might want to build today. I'm thinking maybe a wild mouse would be good. Um, I want to fill in this space right here behind all of the rides a little bit and then we can expand the park out further into the water um, maybe fill in some of these other spaces after that but I want to get this filled in first so let's go ahead and build a custom wild mouse I don't build custom wild mouse rides very often a lot of times I'll just select the pre uh, the pre-built designs because they already have like all of the scenery and stuff that looks nice and there's not a lot you can do with a wild mouse it's all you know they're all pretty much the same ride uh, a lot of times unless you want to get like really creative with it right but we're just going to build a standard wild mouse here nothing too special i'll add a little bit of scenery to it at the end and we're going to make it more of uh we're going to change from the mice to the mines, the mine carts. I think that'll fit our theme a little bit better. Although I guess mice would work for a uh, medieval castle theme too. If it's like the plague or something. But anyways, um, yeah, nothing too special here about the wild mouse. Um, you just gotta be careful how steep or, or how big your drops are and just like any roller coaster right there's no option for a bank turn with a wild mouse so there's the guests are going to be um subject to a lot of g-forces so you just want to make sure that the the carts aren't going too fast around all of your turns but something like this is you know pretty decent so we'll, we'll throw in lots of block breaks we want um, I want it to be a block sectioned roller coaster, but I also want you know plenty of guests to be able to ride. I don't want only two or three carts running at a time. So this should be uh, plenty to keep the, the line moving. So let's watch this test. You also don't want too many block breaks that, you know, there's no movement at all. But this should work pretty good. It's a pretty short ride. Not, I don't think it's too short to get, get any penalties, though. I know that if some roller coasters are too short, then you'll get a pretty severe cut to your excitement rating, which can be a bummer. But I think this one is okay. to see how long it takes for these carts to get through but this definitely I don't think any guests are going to be complaining about how long this ride is I think the block breaks are the ride is short enough and the block breaks are spread enough that it won't be too long so that should be an enjoyable ride for the guests that wasn't too bad at all so ride length was 1092 feet I don't know what the ride length needs to be. It might be a thousand feet. Um, I can't remember. I've looked it up a few times, but 6.09. We will take that for a wild mouse. Not bad. A nice cheap roller coaster. I didn't have to borrow any extra money to build it, and it should generate some pretty decent revenue. So let's get this thing opened up. Um, I might just let the guests start roaming free in the park. 
a little bit. I've got a whole bunch of do not enter signs all over the place and I might fix that today. But let's fill this up with litter bins and all that stuff. Gonna get some handymen working in this area. I saw a lot of vomit and things like that. Um, yeah, just difficult to maintain a park that has all of this, all of these pathways pre-built. I don't like that as much as just making your own path. Okay, so that should be good enough. I was kind of considering building castle walls around this wild mouse, but it is what it is. We're going through some marketing campaigns right now. We got full marketing campaigns going on at this point. So, like I was saying, I'm kind of looking at the park. I think it's full enough, and there's enough guests that I probably am just going to open it up and let people start walking around the park. Hopefully, I won't take too much of a hit to my uh, park rating for doing that. I don't want people to get lost, but at the same time, it's getting pretty crowded in there, and there's a lot of vomit and litter and stuff going on. So, just checking out what's going on with the pathways. I think it should be okay. Um... We'll just have to start filling in the outside rims of the park so the guests have things to do so that they don't get too upset around there. Let's see exactly how we want to do this. I think I want to put a ride in the corner right here next to the junior roller coaster. And now we just want to pick which one we want to do. I'm going to save the swinging ship and the um, inverted, inverted swinging ship for the water. I want to put those over the water. So I might put a save the log flume as well for the water area. Um, probably just go with another gentle ride that we haven't used yet. How about the, the bumper cars would probably be good. Let's go ahead and build some of those. So that'll give the guests something to do in every corner of the, you know, of this main area. We'll definitely want to fill this in a little more with a couple of other rides. Uh, maybe a restroom or two. And then, yeah, you can see the guests are just kind of flooding around. Hopefully they'll be making their way to the rides and they don't get too lost lost but you can see the park rating is not at this point it's not taking too much of a hit uh, our guest count is up about you know a little over a hundred from what we started the episode at so that's going okay I'm gonna fill up uh, the handyman situation we'll get 10 going hopefully we won't need more than that in our park but I guess we'll see what happens Make this bumper cars look a little bit more medieval with the uh, fencing around it. I'm not sure how else to do that. And then that should be pretty good for this section over here. The wild mouse looks like it's doing okay. It doesn't seem like any guests are complaining about the length of the, the wait. Um, park's getting pretty full up here. Probably in the next one, I'll start working in that water area. Maybe we'll build some rides out there on the river. Kind of by the roller coaster. I, I'm not sure. We'll. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you think I should build next in the series. We'll see what happens. But anyways, thanks so much for watching this one, you guys. Um, yeah, we're going to keep plugging away at this thing. And I'll see you in the next video.